The federal government is under increasing pressure tonight to clarify its position on indigenous fisheries. A second Nova Scotia First Nation launched a self-regulated lobster fishery today. It's part of a new effort to assert their inherent right to fish for what's called a moderate livelihood. That right was upheld by the Supreme Court of Canada more than two decades ago. But as Ross Lord explains, there is still no clarity about what moderate livelihood means. At the St. Peter's Wharf in Cape Breton, Indigenous pride is on display. A drum band performing the Mi'kmaq Honor Song and the Grand Chief blessing a small fleet of lobster boats. So this is the second Indigenous lobster fishery to launch in Nova Scotia in recent weeks. The Boatletech First Nation chose to do it on Treaty Day, which Nova Scotia designates for promoting public awareness about Mi'kmaq culture and rights. It's an inherent right, you know, we've been fighting for this for 20-some years and resistance every which way, so it's, uh, there's only one way to do it and it's on the water. The first self-regulated lobster fishery in southwestern Nova Scotia was met with heated protests and widespread cutting of lobster traps by commercial fishers who insist everyone should fish within the same season. There were no immediate signs of protest this time as a growing number of First Nations plan to follow suit. I remember too, Eskazoni and in uh, Annapolis, and I know a few other, uh, a few other bands also looking at the same thing. We're all going to be using, using the same plan. As the number of First Nations fisheries increases, so does pressure on the federal government to clarify whether it supports them. I'd say it puts definitely pressure on your members of Parliament. This Cape Breton Liberal MP is also a Boatletech member. And the reason why it's, it's not clear, it's because there is not consensus within the Mi'kmaq communities or within the federal government of what a moderate livelihood means. Jaime Batiste proposes establishing a new entity led by the Mi'kmaq community so all sides can reach a common understanding of how best to share what the ocean has to offer. Ross Lord, Global News, St. Peter's, Nova Scotia.